Donald Trump meets Putin in Finland, what does their body language reveal? Donald Trump met Vladimir Putin in Finland today, with the eyes of the world on the two men. The US president is attending his first face-to-face -face meeting with Russia's leader this year. Before holding the meeting behind closed doors, the two leaders briefly spoke to reporters, with video footage of the short chat beamed around the world. But what does Donald Trump, 72, really think of Vladimir Putin, 65? A body language expert has offered analysis of the two men's historic meeting. Judy James, author and body language expert, told Express.co.uk the duo are not as friendly as the warm words from Trump, would have you believe. Previous to the meeting, Trump said that getting along with Russia would be a good thing, not a bad thing. She said, if the May-Trump summit looked chilly, this Trump-Putin meeting looked buried under a thick layer of permafrost. Both men arrived performing the kind of alpha posturing you normally see in a boxing ring, swaggering with puff chests, and in Trump's case a mouth clamp plus, what was bordering on a scowl to camera as both pulled at their jackets in what is commonly a prepare-to-fight ritual. In the room for the photo call, though they looked more like a sullen, divorcing couple at crisis counseling. Putin was especially sphinx-like, returning little of the sparse eye contact he received from Trump and maintaining a poker face even after Trump's soccer flattery was being translated for him. Trump sat in his usual Trump slump pose with his legs, splayed and his fingers in downward steeple position to register macho dominance, but this time his fingertips tapped together throughout which is a sign of impatience. Putin adopted a more elegant power pose, sitting upright with one elbow on the arm of the chair, but as Trump spoke Putin's other hands clasped the lower strut of the chair arm, as though irritation could have been making him keen to go. He also performed some impatience rituals like scratching up his cuff and finger fiddling. Trump instigated the handshake at the end, and it was performed from their seats with a long-distance arm stretch and no patting or prolonging additions to give any clues away about their feelings. The two men looked annoyed. When they last met their body language was cool and slightly awkward, but in dramatic fashion Putin leaned right out of his chair to whisper and chat to Trump with a smile on his face once the cameras were finished to signal a more off-screen friendship bond. This time the two men sat rigid in their seats with absolutely no eye contact or communication when the lights were turned off. This could be a ploy. It could be about pre-meeting posturing, and the men could emerge showing friendship signals suggesting they'd each fought hard before allowing themselves to bond. However if they do emerge in the same frosty style it could imply it might have been better had this meeting never happened. Trump has a complicated relationship with Russia thanks to accusations from the FBI of meddling from the communist country into the elections which won him his presidency. Hours before he sat down with Putin, Donald tweeted, President Obama thought that crooked Hillary was going to win the election, so when he was informed by the FBI about Russian meddling, he said it couldn't happen, was no big deal, and did nothing about it. When I won it became a big deal, and the rigged witch hunt headed by struck. Our relationship with Russia has never been worse thanks to many years of US foolishness and stupidity and now, the rigged witch hunt.